Climate change and its impact continue to be a major issue around the world. Britain's Foreign and Commonwealth Office Climate Change Envoy outlined the challenges ahead for the UK. There's one key challenge, which is how do we get from being a high carbon economy to a low carbon economy? Um, that breaks down into the choices that we make in a number of key sectors. Um, probably the top one is the power sector. We need, to, we need to move to a zero carbon electricity system, not least because um, part of this transition will see an expansion of the use of electricity um, for uh, heating and for transport, displacing uh, other fuels that, that um, uh, currently meet some of those needs. So that's probably the top priority, but uh, transport would be the next. Um, we have a high carbon transport system based on uh, burning, uh, burning petrol in, uh, in vehicles. Um, and heating and a number of industrial processes are, are, are also important. On tackling emissions and developing new low carbon solutions, he believes there are major political and economic issues that need to be addressed. There is a large and growing acceptance from the British public that this is something that we need to do, that our destiny is to be um, you know, in the forefront of this transition. But at the same time, British people want to see this being done fairly. And I think a lot of the politics of this is going to be how do we do this in a fair in a fair way and because it's about rapid change that's going to be challenging that's going to be challenging politics both within Britain within the European Union which is a very important piece of this jigsaw because I don't think we can deliver this transition in Britain unless we're doing it um, as a core part of the European project uh, and then of course globally and how that plays into what China does what the United States does what India does and so on for developed nations, the need for change has to be shared equally, with the emphasis firmly on economic benefits rather than cost. So far we've had an enormous amount of focus on the cost of this transition and how do we, how do we share the pain, if you like. The politics of sharing pain is always extremely difficult and extremely slow. Um, look at the trade negotiations. You know, whenever we uh, whenever we set ourselves a deadline in the trade negotiations, we seem to find that we can't get agreement within that deadline, so we just move the deadline back. We can't do that with climate change because the deadlines are set by the way in which nature responds to the, um, the stresses that we're putting on natural systems, and we will just pay an intolerable price if we, get, uh, if we get that wrong, if we can't, as it were, meet the deadlines that we set. He feels there needs to be collective responsibility on tackling climate change. This is about how we build, if you like, the globalize, what I call the globalization of responsibility. What we've had so far in globalization is the globalization of opportunity. And a lot of people have done very well out of it, but some of those who don't have access to the opportunities haven't done so well. And if we want to maintain the conditions in which globalization can deliver more prosperity, then we need to build up the globalization of responsibility. And climate change is one of the key issues uh, for that, because if we don't deal with the climate problem, um, then the consequences of climate change will by themselves be very destabilizing, both for, both for prosperity but actually also for, uh, for security. The British government believe it's important to focus on the opportunities rather than the cost if we are to successfully move towards developing low carbon economies.